Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to show you how to change the roof aerial of the Volkswagen Polo to a more stubby shark fin aerial. Now my friend here has uh, sourced the OE shark fin antenna from uh, Budmo and guess what, it comes already painted. Now the one that I got from ECS Tuning which is there on my car, which you can see right here. This one wasn't uh, painted from the factory and I got it done when I changed the front bumper. Now this one on the other hand comes pre-painted. Looks pretty elegant and it also comes with a securing nut here. We got this from Budmo and it cost us about uh, 1410 rupees. I give or take uh, 50 bucks during offers. So but here is a catch. This does not have a circuitry inside. So what we are basically going to do is we are going to remove the stock aerial from the car, uh, remove all the circuitry and uh, install it inside uh, the shark fin aerial. So we'll see how uh, that is done. We'll have to remove a few trims. Uh, we're going to show you how to do that. Now what you'll have to basically do is uh, you have these uh, trims here and the headliner right here. You'll have to remove this trim. It is held by those uh, V clips at various places. You'll have not to remove this. You'll have to slightly take off the clips, the securing clips from uh, both the trims at the C pillars and then uh, lower the roof liner and then we'll get to access the nut here. Now care has to be taken to ensure that you don't get any creases on the roof liner because uh, I once had a experience that way and the crease would take some time to go. So we'll see how that is done. These are those uh, V clips I was referring to. We have two clips stuck here which we'll uh, take. A trim removal tool like this is very handy, you get it online. see the antenna right here there you go and this is that fakra connector which we have to remove i'll show you how to remove this don't bend the liner here because you can see that crease developing if you bend it too much and hold it for too long the crease would stay permanent so be careful we'll try with a 22 20 ring spanner because this gets good access here Oh, it's already loose. Shit. No, don't hold it. I need to go. Disconnect. Pull off the aerial from the top. gaskets already there you can see that uh, the paint there is a little you know filled with muck we'll try uh, rubbing it off with uh, IPA so basically what we are trying to do is uh, remove the circuitry with the cable from the stock connector stock uh, antenna 
and we'll install it in the new one. It has two Phillips head screws at the bottom. Remove it, keep the screw safe. So there you go, that's the whole circuitry here. Now we'll have to transfer that to the new unit. Now here's where I want to draw your attention. The PCB is securely held to the base of the antenna with these punches and it won't come off easily. You, know, you are going to have to drill the PCB out. So carefully, I mean very, very carefully use the smallest drill bit and gradually drill the board out. I secured the base to the bench wise and drilled it out. clean it came from those two holes here so what we'll do is we'll try opening this base from the shark fin antenna it has uh, Phillips screws now what you need to do is remove the stock antennas uh, cable which is soldered to the board here Now what you need to do is uh, lead this uh, stock cable through the shark fin antenna's base here. You are going to have to solder it to the circuit board. So we finally managed to secure the board like this and uh, applied some uh, Febby bond here. Uh, it's uh, unlike epoxy glue, it's a rubbery adhesive. So in case you want to remove the board, you can do so. This will only hold it in place in that slot there. You can see a small slot here. That's where the board is actually supposed to be held. So we secured the stock board uh, on the shark fin antenna's base. I will close it. Secure all the screws back. Put the gasket back. So there you go, all you've got to do is uh, connect it back to the car and secure this uh, Fakra connector and you're done. Now we are here in the basement, uh, we'll try installing the uh, shark fin aerial back. But before that, uh, we'll have to do some cleaning because that base is a little unclean. Lead the cable through the hole. tightened you have to connect these two light connectors once that's done there's a clip here secure them safely the clip that's secured keep these uh, clips back in place Remove the, slide out the rubber beadings.
Now, you, before you secure this headliner, you have this uh, plastic clip, which comes in the center right here. This one. Secure that back. Yeah. Secure them back. That's all. Uh, guys, the shark fin antenna is installed. Nice and secure, as you can see here. Now we'll see how well the radio reception is. So there you go, it's receiving all the stations just fine. So I hope uh, you guys uh, like this video, it's one of the cheapest uh, aesthetic mods you can do. Unlike me who had to import the unit all the way from uh, the US, you need not have to do that. You can get this uh, dummy aerial and uh, replace the circuit on your stock aerial back into it. So I hope uh, this was useful. Thank you so much for watching. Take care guys and stay tuned until the next video.